What's up everybody? Back again doing yet another unboxing. Let's get right into this thing. All right, everybody. So like I said, yet another uh, unboxing. I got, this is actually my second uh, West Creek guitars from Amazon. Uh, I had the West Creek Revenge, which is like a destroyer, explorer type, explorer, explorer. That's a different word. Anyway, that's, that's not even a word. Moving forward. Uh, yeah, I had the uh, West Creek Revenge and the Green Burst. Great guitar, man. It was pretty rad right out of the box. Uh, band I was um, in and the projects that I was doing required me to have a seven string and I ended up getting trading that guitar plus another one to get my old seven string back which I ended up selling to get the money for this partially uh, I had some personal things I had to take care of with some of that money but lo and behold afterward I had enough to pull this off so that worked out and I'm quite stoked a uh, little bit of a backstory that seems to be a trend with my videos, I believe. Uh, everybody who knows me knows I'm a huge fan of, you know, Dimebag Daryl. I mean, I frame Guitar World posters. Come on. But, um, huge fan of Dime. Uh, in the early 2000s, late 90s, he had a run with Washburn. And it was the, uh, the V series. And there was one V in particular that I desperately wanted and it was the orange yellow sunburst it was like yellow kind of yellowish in the middle and then it bursted into the orange and that just was the most beautiful guitar I had ever seen uh could never get my hands on one one they're super expensive two they're really rare now they're hard to find but uh then I was cruising around on Amazon and I found this creature uh also, huge fan of the uh, Dime Culprit. Again, never owned one. Wanted one, couldn't own it. Uh, and uh, the thing I loved most about the Culprit was the headstock. That was just the coolest headstock. So again, fast forwarding to like a month ago. No, two weeks ago. We're going to go with two weeks. Uh... I saw that West Creek had came out with these. Again, I'm a fan of West Creek. I'm gonna see what I can. I may see what I can do about getting my revenge back. Actually, but um, just great guitars for the money. Even for the you know, I would probably pay double for this if I could. You know, I mean, it's just one of those guitars where you're getting more bang for your buck than you really realize at the time like once you get it and play play it it's just ah oh, they're great guitars but uh i saw the uh black burst that they had it's black in the middle it's silver on the outside and the neck silver i was like that's a cool shape i don't necessarily dig that color scheme and then i saw they have a blue sparkle and i was like no nah, that's definitely not for me then I flipped over, scrolled over rather, and I saw this lovely creature. It has the color scheme of, well, similar to the color scheme of that Washburn Dime I was telling you about. But it has something very similar it has a headstock very similar to the culprit but reversed that's right reversed so i'm gonna crack into this thing there won't be any playing today i've got a lot of things i gotta do today but the unboxing is happening right now so let's get into it I've got my trusty blade and away we go But uh, yeah, I'm 
it took, I ordered this guitar, a bit of a story actually, uh, another one. <laughs> I saw that they had like five in stock and I waited around, waited around and ultimately was, I was just like, no, I'm not going to get it. They'll be there when I can get it. Big deal. But then I woke up uh, Thursday morning and they had two left. And I was going to wait to buy this guitar till, you know, this week. Today's Monday. I was going to wait to buy it today. But, you know, I already had the money and I was like, I'm just going to wait. And then I got up Friday and they had one left. And I was like, shoot, got to get it. So I got it. I ordered it. <laughs> I had, you know, plenty of money on my in my account. And my card got declined three times within 12 hours. Something was going on with the bank. Don't know what the issue was, but they got it lined out. Uh, and the next morning I woke up to a confirmation email that my guitar was on its way. So it's been a bit of a process getting this thing, but I'm absolutely stoked. The lid is about to be taken off, so here we go. Great packaging. We've got a nice styrofoam lid on top of this sucker, keeping her good and safe. Ooh. Molded styrofoam, that's great. And of course, you know, you got your, uh, your goodies, your Allen key, your uh, cable, which I've got a whole drawer full of these. You never know who's gonna need one when you're jamming. So I keep those. That's uh, always a welcome thing for me. Uh, I'm a styrofoam. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, let's, uh, let's crack her open, shall we? If I can get it out of the dang box. Get out of there, you ho. Oh, man. Ooh, she's got some weight to her, but it's not terrible. But yeah, you can see molded. That's not going anywhere. Uh, they make sure these guitars are secure, and I may... If I don't buy a case, I may uh, build one with that. That is actually really good. I like that. But let's take off the, uh, what's that thing that Vin Diesel says? You can't detail a car with the cover on. You can't play a guitar with the bag on. Anyway, I'm going to get closer. Watch this. I got closer. See that? All right, here we go. This is the West Creek Cerberus. Oh my God. Yo. Look at that headstock. That is beautiful. Oh, dude. Even just seeing it in the camera, the phone, man, that was hot. That got me going. Oh, it's got this nice cutaway here. Check that out. What? No way. The neck is perfectly straight in both angles. Yo, just look at look at this headstock, dude. I'm trying to see if there's any finish flaws. I mean, oh, I thought that was a finish flaw, but that's just wax from where they polish it. Um. No, there's nothing there. This guitar is flawless and the fret ends, dude. I don't know if y'all can see that perfectly rounded, just immaculate. That's amazing. West Creek all day long, man. All day long. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked. I'm going to fire this thing up and then, uh, 
let y'all see how that goes, hear how that goes, watch how that goes in another video. But until then, stay cool, my friends. Take it easy.